Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, Stan the Movie Man with your WIMZ.com movie review. This week you sent me to see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It stars Megan Fox, Will Arnett, William Fichtner, along with uh, the um, digital versions of uh, Alan Richson, Pete Plozcheck, also Johnny Knoxville, Jeremy Howard, Noel Fisher, Tony Shalhoub, Danny Woodburn, and many, many more. It is the story, of course, the reboot of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And in uh, this version of their origin, uh, April O'Neil, played by Megan Fox, is a television reporter at a New York City station. She is stuck doing fluff pieces and m would much rather be um, uh, covering hard news. And she is, uh, on her off time, investigating a series of robberies committed by a, uh, a uh, nefarious gang of thieves called the Foot Clan. Uh, they're doing other things as well, terrorizing New York City. Um, she happens to catch one of these robberies in progress and notices a, uh, a figure flying through the air and uh, all of the uh, Foot Clan members are getting knocked out or captured or thrown into the river, whatever they, you know, however they're being handled. And um, she, but she doesn't get a good look at them. Now, uh, a little later on, she and her uh, videographer and the guy who drives the station van, uh, Vernon Fenwick, played by Will Arnett, are driving through the city when uh, they see a bunch of people running in panic out of the subway. Uh, April runs into the subway station and is immediately captured by members of the Foot Clan. Now, um, but a group of vigilantes comes out and knocks out all of the Foot Clan members and frees all the hostages. They then make their escape by going up a ventilation shaft. Uh, April follows the ventilation shaft and sees that it comes out at the top of a building. She climbs the fire escape to the top of the building and where she sees the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, she hears one of their names, uh, Leonardo, who is, uh, his body work is done by Pete Plozcheck, but uh, his voice is done by Johnny Knoxville. And uh, this rings a bell with her. She goes home and checks on uh, some stuff from her father, her late father, who was a research scientist. And he was working on a project called Renaissance. Uh, they were doing genetic testing using box turtles and a rat. And this, uh, uh, the subjects of this test were named after Renaissance painters, Leonardo being one of them, along with Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. Um, it turns out that these turtles are the product of those experiments from all those years ago. Um, the movie is... It's like watching a kid who's good at martial arts, but is ADHD. It is just flash and and um, noise with very little behind it. Um, the human characters are very two-dimensional uh, and do exactly what you expect them to do. The best defined characters are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, it is a uh, there are moments that are entertaining. Uh, the turtles are funny when they, you know, do their turtle stuff. Um, it, um, it, it, and and the and it looks really good, but it's so loud and it's so frenetic and the camera is so jumpy. Um, it it's just at times unwatchable. And if you're subject to motion sickness. I'm really suggesting you stay away. I'm also suggesting you stay away if you like decent movies, because this ain't one of them. I'm giving Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review, as well as to vote on the movie that I see next time. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send them to me at StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. And please follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan. 
Till next time, toodles. And Cowabunga, dude!